dreaming about this destination for years and years and finally I'm here I'm in Ubud Bali the cultural capital of this island is it worth it is it worth the hype so I have been uh, reading a lot of stories about uh, Ubud being uh, the best uh, spot of Bali, a kind of uh, paradise on earth. So in this video, we are discovering whether this is true, whether staying here for several nights is worth it. Join us, let's go. Welcome to Ubud. We just arrived from uh, Seminyak in the south of the island where we spent a couple of days our resort is a bit uh, outside of the city center so there should be uh, a shuttle that is uh, you know escorting us uh, downhill to the center of uh, Ubud so many temples here that this one amazing it's used uh, as a garage oh <laughs> this is unbelievable <laughs> And all of a sudden, randomly, appears this uh, incredible temple uh, in the middle of the market. Look at this. This is unbelievable. I think it's a guest house, uh, it's not a temple, but it looks like. Huh. Amazing, amazing. Our first mission is uh, getting rid of this uh, awful uh, office looking uh, white shirt. Uh and buying something more local. Mission accomplished! What do you think? There are street markets uh, pretty much everywhere. Open air, but also indoor. And uh, it's actually much better because it's uh, 3 p.m. and it's like uh, 37 degrees right now. We just entered uh, the Ubud Palace, one of the top attractions uh, in the city. This palace is also known as uh, Puri Sarang Agung. It was very, very famous in the 1800s when the top artists from uh, the whole uh, Indonesia were coming to Bali to show off their top skills. The palace looks uh, incredibly old, but actually it's quite recent, it has been built in the 1800s. It's quite small, you can uh, walk around it in just uh, like 15 20 minutes. The entrance uh, is uh, free, but the most interesting part of this uh, palace is that every evening at 7 uh, 30 pm there is uh, a Balinese dance uh, performance. So we might come back here uh, in the evening to admire one of these. Look at this place, so beautiful. There are so many, oh, look. 
crossing the street is an hazard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, <laughs> you're always like. Uh, you need to have a look everywhere. You're always risking your life. Oh wow! Look at this. What do you want, Miss, uh, in uh, in Ubud? Uh, uh, temples like this one, stunning, and uh, amazing little uh, cozy bar. Let's chill out a bit. It's still very very hot. Have you ever seen a bar like this one? Palace decoration, a local divinity, a little uh, temple, and traditional Balinese drink. Which is really nice with turmeric. Cheers. Cheers. Look, on the back of this bar, if you pass the toilet, look at this place. What is this place? Is it real? Looks like uh, a secret garden. Hello. I'm not sure whether it's a restaurant or a or a private house or a guest house or a hotel. I have no idea. I only know that uh, it's unbelievable. Ubud, it's incredible. Wow. First impressions are great. The best part of uh, wandering in Ubud is that uh, on the main street, you just take a random turn on the right and you enter a completely different world. There is a, a kitchen here. This is a kind of, uh, I don't know whether it's uh, like a temple or a private house, as well as this one. There's a cage. So maybe like some pets, so maybe it's a private house, as there are also motorbikes. Look at this house, it's incredible. And this one as well so some offerings there's a homestay there if you go up some clothes hanging that one should be someone's house yeah look at this one hello yeah i think it's a private house hello kitty a balinese cat say hi <laughs> Look at this temple here. It's incredible. I would love to live here. If I will ever move from London, we found our perfect place, huh? <laughs> It's gonna be no, it's amazing. Ubud it's just, it's just wow all the Bali. It's just super wow wow wow. Here in Bali they have three different gods and they also pray three times uh, a day. And actually uh, each house has uh, something like that just uh, in front uh, with the aim of uh, uh, protecting uh, uh, the house and blessing uh, uh, the house from the bad uh, demons. The sun just went down. We are wintering uh, outside of the city of Ubud, north, and look here. The famous uh, rice fields. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rice fields everywhere. 
now we are ready for a Balinese dancing performance inside the Ubud Palace. <laughs> What a show! Did you like it? I really, I loved it. Guys, you need to try it. It's really nice. So if you want to experience the Balinese culture and also to have a look at the Balinese dance, go for it. Amazing. The price is uh, 100 rupees and the show lasts uh, more or less uh, one hour and a half. Really recommended. Just a quick consideration before heading to sleep. We have been around for nearly 12 hours. So, Quick difference between Ubud and uh, Seminyak, the city where we spent uh, uh, the first uh, two nights. So basically in Ubud, uh, after sunset, uh, things uh, get much more quieter. So the city is completely packed until uh, sunset and then gets uh, like this. That's the main street. Whereas in uh, Seminyak is totally uh, the opposite. So during the daytime it's completely, I mean the city is empty and uh, you know because of the of the heat which is uh, almost unbearable and then uh, yeah after sunset uh, things uh, start getting uh, much more crazier because of all the clubs and pubs good morning guys from uh, Ubud uh, just with you one million uh, rupiah so I feel like a millionaire right now but that's uh, a fundamental step if you want to uh, rent uh, a motorbike uh, here in uh, in the city so basically uh, to go around you have uh, two options the first one is to use uh, the app uh, grab kind of kind of a uber and the second one of course is renting a motorbike so i paid uh, um, 150,000 rupees for uh, 24 hours and this uh, gives me uh, the maximum flexibility i want uh, to explore the area let's go On our way to the most famous rice fields of Ubud, uh, we encountered uh, this uh, Hindu temple. Look at this. It's absolutely stunning. There is a ceremony right now, so actually we are not allowed to enter. That's why I love uh, renting a motorbike because it gives you the flexibility to discover this uh, uh, kind of uh, hidden places. Just 20 minutes ride from uh, the center of Ubud, uh, we reach the checking uh, rice terrace. The place uh, is absolutely uh, stunning, even though it's, uh, it's quite touristic. So there are uh, swing uh, slides. Uh, uh, spots for uh, uh, the perfect Instagram pictures uh, but having said that it's awesome Paying 25k, you can do a trekking of around uh, 40 minutes uh, across uh, the rice terraces, uh, and that's quite uh, hard and challenging uh, with this uh, weather. It's super hot and humid. I just want to introduce you my grandmother. 
pond anymore. Make sure you have proper shoes, water, and enjoy. I'm not. <laughs> Time for uh, some lunch in uh, one of the best uh, restaurants of Ubud. Let's check it out. Look at this place. If you want, you can have uh, a dinner here. One of these tables uh, overlooking this waterfall. Oh, stunning, isn't it? Outstanding food once again, guys. If you come to Bali to Ubud uh, for food, if you are a foodie, for sure you won't be disappointed. It's almost sunset, and after a quick ride uh, from our restaurant, uh, we now we are now heading to Kampuhan Ridge Walk, which is apparently one of the most famous uh, trail here in Ubud. The temperature cooled down a lot, so now it's actually very pleasant to walk. Let's discover this place. Another incredible place. What's that? Oh my god. It's gorgeous. Being eaten alive by nasty mosquitoes. Uh, sweaty like pigs <laughs> heavy after a Luculian lunch but we want to reach the top of this trail or at least uh, getting uh, as close uh, to the top as possible to show you the view from there it's almost sunset so it should be nice I also have a drone in my backpack so hopefully we can uh, we can show you the landscape from above let's keep walking Bad news. Unfortunately, we couldn't show you the top of the hill because there is no hill whatsoever. But on the other hand, I hope that you enjoy the, the drone shots from above. By the way, we are reaching the end uh, of this uh, Ubud uh, trip and uh, it's time for a few uh, considerations uh, of this uh, town. Overall, it's worth it. Uh. There are a lot of uh, positives uh, and very few negatives of staying here in Ubud in 2023. As far as the positives are concerned, first of all, food, which is amazing pretty much everywhere we went for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Well, the prices are even lower than uh, Seminyak. Secondly, the uh, culture. So there are like temples pretty much uh, everywhere. Every single house uh, has a little temple uh, in front where offerings uh, are made and it's so fascinating walking across uh, these uh, little narrow streets uh, to explore how the locals live. For point, it's very easy to walk around. The city is very compact. You can find uh, pretty much everything uh, walking distance. Uh, any downsides? Guys, I'm in love with Ubud. It's a great place to visit. I'm sure you are going to love it. Uh, if I really need to think about something negative about it, I would say just that it's quiet by night, so after 10 p.m. It's not like Seminyak, you know, full of life and nightclubs and bars and so on. Uh, also, sorry, just to add on the negatives, uh, the traffic uh, in the city center, it's awful. So if you rent a motorbike, be mindful that... Uh, Prepared. Yeah, you might get stuck. Uh, uh, really, you might get really uh, overwhelmed and frustrated by, you know, by driving here. But other than that, really, it's a great place uh, to be. So we stay here just uh, two days, but to be honest, we could have stayed uh, an entire week. Really. 